One of the hottest topics today is augmented reality. But just what does it mean to augment or mix realities? And how does it work? Hi, my name is Nikolai, and I'm going to talk about Project Tango, augmented reality, and the exciting new world that's now at your fingertips. Augmented reality has been around in some form for years. Pilots, for example, utilize a head-up display to navigate in low light or bad weather. Representation of obstacles are projected onto the windscreen, along with other vital data, such as airspeed and altitude, to allow a pilot to see when it's not really possible to see. So what does it take to make AR work on a mobile device? In many ways, AR works just the way you work. When you walk, your eyes process images while a pair of tiny canals in your inner ear, called the vestibular system, provides information about spatial orientation and movement. Your brain automatically links the data and you maneuver without even thinking. In order to analyze your movement, a Project Tango device processes images of your immediate environment, dozens of images, every second. As you move and point the device, the images change, and the Project Tango software interprets and presents your movement in the AR world. Add Project Tango's high-resolution clock to sync all of these elements, and you have a tool capable of capturing and presenting a high-fidelity virtual image on top of a live camera image. To understand how this works in more detail, what's the introduction to motion tracking video? Creating an AR experience that's believable is a delicate exercise, and I want to walk you through a few of the key elements. So let me show you what I'm talking about. As we walk along this hallway, the Project Tango device is taking pictures, and you are essentially seeing a live picture of your world. Each of the little dots that you see represents a physical feature that Project Tango locks onto so it can track your movement. As these features shift in relation to the device, Project Tango's motion tracking tracks your progress. Now, let's augment reality. In this case, we will add a box to our room. As we move around it, Project Tango tracks our movement in relation to our physical world and redraws the box to keep it fixed in place. To make this work, you must make sure that the camera image and the device pose are time synced. If they are not, you will see the virtual overlays out of sync with the camera motion. We say the experience is slushy. If, on the other hand, the two are time synced, the virtual object will follow the physical world and we say we have good registration. Now, there are some things to watch out for. Imagine riding a roller coaster. Your eyes and your vestibular system flood your brain with sensory data over time. Your brain gets overloaded and you lose track of time and space. Same thing in the AR world. If the Project Tango system cannot process data efficiently enough, then the system can no longer draw the virtual world in the right position and it will look like it's moving randomly on top of the physical world. Not synchronizing pose and camera image is one of the most common mistakes, so we have created sample code for various platforms. Pretty neat, right? You must also manage the properties of the camera and the motion tracking system. The parameters of the virtual camera and the physical camera must match. This includes their field of view, any lens distortion, and physical displacement of the physical camera and the inertial measurement unit. If you don't address this, errors will accumulate, and as you move the device further and further away from its starting point, the virtual world will appear to shift. Yep, this is pretty tricky, and you need a bit of math to nail this. We've got you covered with ready-to-use samples here. When you are thinking about how to program in Project Tango, think about working in two worlds, the physical world and the virtual world, where the shared element is time. That in a sense, is augmented reality. Now, there are some limitations which you need to consider when you are imagining an AR app. Several factors affect the accuracy of motion tracking. Light, surfaces, and how fast we are moving can all create errors. And here's why. Again, remember, the Project Tango device works pretty much the same way we work. Low light can make it difficult for the camera to accurately detect the surroundings. Without accurate images, Project Tango cannot recognize your physical environment. Just as we cannot see in the dark, neither can a Project Tango device. Also, the environment needs textures in order to accurately gauge movement. Imagine standing in the middle of a snowstorm. Everything around you is white. Now try to gauge how fast you're moving and in what direction. 
Same thing with Project Tango. Project Tango is a leap forward for mobile devices that enables them to run room scale and markerless AR experiences. Just imagine the possibilities. Augmented reality can take your world and enhance it. And with Project Tango, you can do that right now. For more information and code samples on AR in Project Tango, go to our developer site and visit our Google Plus community and join us on our journey. We are excited to see what you will build with Project Tango.